Hey guys, my name is Timio, and today I want to take a look at a new game that just came out on Steam called Dirty Bomb. This may finally be one of the few free-to-play first-person shooters that's actually fantastic. There have been a few decent ones that have come out over the last year, but a large majority of these free-to-play multiplayer shooters are just terrible. Either they have lackluster gameplay that isn't all that satisfying, or they have a lot of pay-to-win elements. At least right now, it's in the early stages, Dirty Bomb is still in open beta, but I have been thoroughly impressed by what I've seen. At its core, Dirty Bomb is entirely dependent on working with your teammates. There are no free-for-all game modes or team death matches here where you can just run around and get kills to get the victory. Nay nay, if you want to win, you either have to defend or attack an objective. This doesn't mean that your individual skill isn't going to go unnoticed. Like, no, 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 do not get me wrong. I have gone against players that have carried their team to victory. They had an amazing shot, they knew what they were doing, and they were able to decimate the enemy team and get that win. But a large majority of the time, if you are working with some buddies, or even if you're just working with the teammates around you, you are far more likely to be successful and get that victory. And in my opinion, that is fantastic. Another great quality of the game is that there's a wide variety of classes to choose from. You want to play a supportive role, you want to run around dropping med bags and reviving your teammates, then the medic is going to be right up your alley. You want to be a big beefy tank soaking up damage but also dealing out a lot of damage with your minigun, that's also going to be available. What I really like about it though, and something that I have to commend the developers on, is that if you want to play as a medic, you don't just have one to choose from. There's, there's a couple of them and they have a different play style. One of them is really fast. She moves around like hot fire, she has no problem getting around the map, and that allows her to revive her teammates very quickly. She also has a shotgun to close the gap and get up close and personal to take advantage of that weapon, but she doesn't have a lot of health. If that doesn't tickle your fancy though, and you don't like the way that she plays, don't fear, because if you still want to play as the medic, there's another one. He's a little bit slower, he's got more health, so he can take more damage, but he's going to be using assault rifles. He's not going to be able to zip around the map as quickly, and he also has slightly different gadgets. I really like this. I mean, I've always been a fan of League of Legends and Dota, and a wide variety of those different classes do relatively the same thing. They heal, they have a supportive role, but they're different enough where they don't feel exactly the same, and it looks like Dirty Bomb is going down that route, and I could not be happier. Another aspect that I love, and I wish that more first-person shooters would do this, is that you have your primary objective, the thing that your, your, your team needs to take out if they want to win, but there's also side objectives that you can do along the way that can help your team progress and make it easier for you to take out that main objective. So let's say, for example, your team is struggling to plant C4 on a train. That's your primary objective, you need to do that to push up onto the next one, but for the life of you, it feels like you're slamming your face against a brick wall. The enemy is doing a fantastic job at defending it, they're slapping you around, and it doesn't seem like you're going to be able to win. Well, instead of continuing to slam your face against this inanimate object, what you can do instead is mosey on over to one of these side objectives, and that might give you the advantage that you need to get the victory. Some of these side objectives will open up a new flanking route, allow you to hit the, the enemy from a different angle. Some of them will close routes for the enemy so that it takes them longer to get back into the action if they spawned on in, or or it might allow you to get back into the action after you spawn on in. And so not only does it make the maps feel more dynamic because you're influencing the way that the map progresses, but it also makes you think about combat differently and the tactics that you're going to use. If you're on the defensive team, you have to weigh the pros and cons of defending these side objectives. It's not like they all of a sudden blow up. They have to plant C4 and it gives you time to react, but do you take the time to go defend the side objective? Because yeah, it might be beneficial in the long term, but that may give the enemy the opening that they need to swoop on in on the other side and take the primary objective right under your nose. I really like this type of system. It does have its flaws. It's not perfect. And that really just comes down to map design. There are some maps where it, it really feels like there's nothing that you can do to win. Even once you take all the side objectives, it doesn't seem like it's a big enough uh, drawback or disadvantage for the defensive team, and you continue to struggle. There's one map in particular, I can't remember what it's called, where it just it just, it just feels impossible when you're on the offensive team. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because everyone's relatively new. This is the open beta, and it just, it just became the open beta. So a lot of people are still learning different tactics. They're still learning the ins and outs of the game. But it is clear to me that some of these maps may not be 100% well balanced. That's okay. They're going to be hopefully improving things along the way. This is the beta, as I said. But overall, I love the idea of having side objectives. I love how it forces you to think about combat differently. It really changes the way that the match is progressing 
progress. And in my eyes, that is amazing. And hopefully large AAA titles take note and maybe start adding this type of system into their first person shooter. Uh, but probably the most important aspect about any FPS that comes out is the question, is it any fun? Is it simply just fun to shoot at people? When I first learned about Dirty Bomb, admittedly, I was intrigued, but I wasn't all that impressed by the trailers that I saw. I mean, it looked all right, but I wasn't overjoyed and didn't want to jump right on in. Once I actually started to play the game, I was sold on the combat. It's hard to compare it to other first-person shooters or other video games out there because it takes a lot of qualities from a large variety of them, crams them all together, and somehow makes it work. You may have noticed that I am not aiming down sight all that often. If you're a Counter-Strike veteran, you're gonna feel right at home. If you wanna aim down sight and you're, you've been acclimated to that, you've played Call of Duty or Battlefield and you've taught yourself to always aim down sight when you're shooting at people, that's still in the game, that's still an option, but it does cater to both crowds and it somehow does it very, very well. You've also probably noticed that it's very fast paced. People are zipping around at Mach 5, especially that medic with a shotgun. She is moving like crazy mad, but it also isn't as fast as something like the Unreal Tournament. People aren't zipping around with rocket launchers and taking people out that way. It also has a class-based system similar to like Dota or League of Legends. They don't have a hundred different classes to choose from. It's it's not that crazy yet, but I'm assuming over the next couple of months or if this, if this takes off and it really gains some traction, I'm assuming that they're gonna add more and more mercenaries and mix it up and it's gonna have that same type of dynamic. Overall though, it is simply just fun to shoot at people. It seems to be hit scan. I'm pretty 100% sure that it's hit scan. You shoot, if you're pointing at him, you're gonna be able to get the hit. And while there is recoil, there is some bullet spread, overall, it just feels good at shoot at people. It's responsive, you get notified when you get hit, you're notified when you hit the enemy. And just in general, I've been very impressed by just the shooting mechanics overall. Now, my only real critique of the game is that, well, first of all, some of the maps aren't all that well balanced, and there just doesn't seem to be enough maps right now. I think there may be a total of six, at least that I've seen so far, and well, once again, this is the beta, and I'm assuming that they're going to come out with some more, uh, it would be nice if there was a wider variety and maybe a couple more game modes around the way. I'm fine if they're all objective-based, but it would just be nice if there maybe was a few more maps, a couple more game modes, and that would bring in some more content and, and hopefully increase the long longevity of the game. And so if you can't tell, I have been thoroughly impressed by Dirty Bomb. Yes, it has a few problems here and there, but just in general, it is a fantastic FPS, especially in the beta phase. I didn't even talk about its free-to-play model. Right now, to my best knowledge, it doesn't seem to be pay to win. Yes, you can buy the different mercenaries, the different classes, but just like in League of Legends, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be overpowered. They may have their strengths and weaknesses, they may have different weapons and gadgets at their disposal, but much like in League of Legends, when you buy it, you spend real money on it, it doesn't all of a sudden make you overpowered, it's just a different playstyle. And so if you've been searching for a new first person shooter, especially a free one, one that you don't have to invest any money to get started, I highly recommend that you try Dirty Bomb. Play with friends, it's even better, especially because of that teamwork dynamic, and I can almost guarantee that you're gonna have a blast. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's little look at Dirty Bomb. I hope you enjoyed. If you've had a chance to play it, let me know what your thoughts are on it. Do you agree with me? Do you think it's the worst thing ever? Let me know down below. Uh, but yeah guys, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.